the big themes that we're hearing from customers when talking to them about cloud native applications is really focused around speed and agility. How can they bring their applications to market quicker? But they're also really worried about issues like security and compliance and performance management and all the other things that you need to do in order to successfully run an application in production. And I think the other big issue that they're really worried about is how to make a transition from where they are today with a more monolithic application architecture to where they want to get to in the future of a truly distributed architecture and how to go on that journey in a way that's not totally disruptive to everything they're doing. As technologists, and most of the, us in the space are technologists, we focus on the technology. But it's becoming very, very clear both to us and to our customers that the technology is not going to be the biggest problem that you face when you move to a cloud-native architecture. The biggest challenges are going to be people, process, and organization. This is just a fundamentally different way of both building and operating these applications. And it's going to require changes both in uh, the set of people and their roles, as well as the overall organization, and the processes that they have to ensure that you can run these applications in production safely. So these are big challenges, uh, but it's something that customers are going to have to face. VMware is helping them by allowing them to make this journey in a more evolutionary way rather than revolutionary. Rather than trying to change out the application architecture, the operational principles, the culture, the processes, all in one go overnight, we're letting them change these individual things slowly but surely so that they can control it and reduce risk. And, but still, at the same time, get all the benefits that they're looking for in terms of speed and agility. So we're looking at how we can help them get the 80-20, right? 80% 80 of the benefit with 20% of the work. Now, it's not exactly those numbers, but the general idea is that customers can take an existing application, put it inside a Docker container, get some of the benefits out of that in terms of speeding up their software delivery process, but at the same time still run it in the trusted environment of vSphere that they know and leverage for all their other production applications.